Yes, hi there. These comments are for Manali. This is Michael. I am the founder, owner, and the materials writer for all of your lessons at the Seven Step System to pass the TOEFL IBT. And uh, you sent me a video. This is pretty cool. So uh, it's almost like we're in real time, but we're not. So you sent me your message yesterday. I'm going to answer some of your questions right now. So let's see what you have to say. Hi Michael, this is Manali, one of How's your it going? student of online seven step to success to uh, seven step system to pass to IBT. Mm, first of all, I would like to thank you for boosting up my confidence. And you're welcome. I, uh, as you know, that I have already taken TOEFL test five times till today, with uh, 95 out of. Yes, I know that. I remember your story. I remember you telling me about that. 120 and 23 to 24 every time out of 30 in speaking section of TOEFL IBT. I was pleased with your immense vocabulary list, your phonetics lessons on pronunciations. That has helped me, I feel so. And uh, uh, you got a good question bank too. Okay, so one of the things I would tell you, Manali, about the pronunciation that might help you is, you know, when uh, you're practicing my pronunciation lessons, there's this one particular lesson where it says, see and hear how the vowel and consonants are produced. Now, what I'd recommend, take a mirror, put a mirror right next to your computer, so when you see the lady pronounce the sound, you can try to imitate those also. Uh, that would be really good for you. You do have some pronunciation issues that you're trying to solve right now. I have practiced all practice tests about independent speaking tests 1 and 2 from your question bank. Uh, good. And you also know that I have an additional 300 question test bank for the independent speaking tests. You can also practice those over at my Better TOEFL Scores Voxypop Talk group, right? All right. Now I have come to integrated speaking task three. And those are the more difficult types of uh, speaking tasks. And after taking and experiencing actual TOEFL task, test, I feel that the question what you have formulated is somewhat different than the actual format of the test. So my request to you is that can I practice and record uh, integrated speaking task 3 from ETS official guide to ETS and save it on the Vox Pop discussion zone and yeah you can do that now what you want to do is is when you record that right in the beginning of that integrated speaking practice test Manali you want to tell uh, Jacob will probably be listening to them so you want to tell him or just say uh, Michael's giving me permission to record some of the integrated speaking practice tests from ETS. So you can do that. Now the only problem is he's not going to know the notes. He won't have the notes from the reading or the lecture, but he can certainly uh, grade it based on your pronunciation, your organization, your grammar, and your language use. Now he's not going to know if you've left out any main points because he won't have that reading passage or that lecture. Does that make sense? But you can do that. Again, just let Jacob know. Say, Jacob, Michael gave me permission. I'm recording uh, some of my integrated speaking practice tests from the ETS uh, uh, book. Can you assess my those recordings? Obviously, I'm going to follow your rule of a single record per day. But I Yes, you can do that. No problem. I want to practice those ETS tests too along with your practice test and want your feedback if it is feasible and possible for you good vocabulary word feasible nice can you give me permission for that I will definitely appreciate your yes help till now and thank you again for boosting my confidence you're welcome let me tell you another story here. Now, you could be in for a battle here, so I'm going to prepare you for your battle. Uh, I had another student who just completed her studies with my website. Her name's Letha, and she battled with the TOEFL for almost a year. 
and she's in a similar situation that you are Manali she needed to get 26 on the speaking 24 on the writing she needed to get uh, uh, 22 on the reading and then I think 18 or 19 on the listening right so to make a long story short for eight months she took the TOEFL over and over in one in one exam she would pass the reading and she passed the speaking but maybe not the writing or another exam she would pass the speaking and the writing areas but not the reading and the listening was good so to make a long story short she never put together in the same exam passing scores in all four sections except for this month so I think it was in the ninth time that she took the TOEFL test finally she sent me an email and she made it she got 26 points on the speaking I think she got 24 points in the writing she got 22 on the reading and 21 on the listening so finally she was able to put together a successful successful uh, uh, subtotals on all sections of the test and now she has the uh, she can get her license to become a practicing pharmacist uh, here in the United States think about that for motivation it took her some time and she had to work hard but she stayed motivated and she refused to give up that's what you have to do even if you don't make it you just have to keep working hard keep studying eventually you will reach your goal and bringing strength in me that I'm going to score 26 out of 30 this time Thank and when you're using the word 30 I was watching your mouth there you want to make sure that you put your tongue between your teeth and say 30 30 right there Thanks so. again Michael and I always appreciate your help okay see you have a nice yeah you're nice welcome day. thank you and have a nice day to, for you too thank you